Hello! Hello everyone! I will be talking about point estimation. These are the problems addressed by inferential statistics. Estimation and test of hypothesis. Estimation is concerned with finding a value or range of values for an unknown parameter. While test of hypothesis deals with evaluating a claim or a conjecture about a parameter or distribution of the population. My focus is about estimation. Sample statistics can be generated from sample surveys, and these sample statistics are descriptive summary measures that serve as estimates of the corresponding population characteristics or parameters. Beyond generating point estimates, we can also obtain interval estimates, a range of values that we are confident the parameter is n. Interval estimates provide us a sense of the reliability of the estimates. This is the basic area of estimation. When estimating, we should know something about the population to be generalized. One of the characteristics of the population that researchers often want to estimate is the mean. The population mean is often the parameter to be estimated. How do we estimate a parameter? Specifically, how do we estimate a population mean? Mu. A population standard deviation? Sigma. And a population proportion? P. An estimator of a parameter is a role or a formula for computing an estimate using the sample data. It is usually denoted by a Greek letter with a hat, like mu hat or theta hat. In other cases, special symbols are used, like for the sample mean, x bar, as estimator of the population mean, mu. The estimate is a numerical value of the estimator. So there can be uh, several estimators of the population mean, including the sample mean, the sample median, the sample mood, or the sample mid range. In similar manner, there can be several estimators of the population variance. The sample variance defined with denominator in minus 1 and that with denominator in are two estimators of the population variance. The property of an estimator. Bias of an estimator, theta hat, is given by this equation, where E, sigma hat, is the expected value of the estimator, and theta is the parameter of interest. An estimator with its bias equal to zero is said to be an unbiased estimator of theta. Unbiasedness is a desirable property of an estimator. Good estimator must possess desirable properties. These properties include accuracy and precision. An estimator must be accurate. Accuracy measures the closeness of an estimate to its true value. It is a measure of how close the estimates are to the parameter. It can be a measure by bias, that is, the difference of the expected value of the estimate from the true value of the parameter. An estimator is said to be unbiased if its bias is zero. Otherwise, the estimator is biased. When bias is positive or greater than zero, the estimator overestimates the parameter while the estimator underestimates the parameter when the bias is negative or less than zero. Measure the accuracy, we use the mean square error or NXE. The mean square error of theta hat is equal to the expected value of the theta hat minus theta quantity squared. This is equal to the bias of theta hat plus variance of theta hat. For an unbiased estimator, its mean square error is equal to its variance. An accurate estimator is one whose mean square error is smooth. An estimator must be precise. Precision measures the closeness of the different possible values 
of the estimator to its other. Precision is another measure of closeness. It is a measure of how close the estimates are with its other. The variance of the estimator or its standard error gives a measure of how precise the estimator is. The smaller the value of the standard error of an estimator, the more precise the estimator is. The precision of an estimator be measured by its variance or by its standard error, which is the square root of the variance. The standard error can be estimated using sample data. For example, if we have a random sample that we can estimate the standard error of the sample mean, so we have this equation. The population standard deviation hat of the mean x bar is equal to the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of n. In general, we want the estimator to be both accurate and precise. We can illustrate precision and accuracy by way of analogy. Let us represent the parameter as a target bullseye, while the estimate of the parameters are the arrows shoot by an archer. This estimator is not accurate. It is not unbiased and not precise. The estimator is accurate. It is both unbiased and precise. While this one is not accurate, it is unbiased but not precise. This illustrates an estimator that is not accurate. It is not precise but not unbiased. The sample mean of a simple random sample is an estimator of the population mean that is both accurate and precise. Its expected value is equal to the population mean itself. That is why it is unbiased and consequently an accurate estimator. It is precise because it has the smallest standard error compared to other estimators. Having these good practice, good properties of an estimator makes the sample mean a good estimator of the population mean. Example, parameter of interest has a value equal to 6. These are the data of the estimator A and the data of estimator B. The expected value of the estimator A is equal to 5, while B is equal to 6. The bias of A is equal to negative 1, while the bias of B is equal to 0. The variance of A is equal to 10, and the variance of B is equal to 15, while the mean square error of A is equal to 11, and the mean square error of the mean square error of A is equal to 11, while the mean square error of B is equal to 15. So in choosing an estimator, you choose an estimator that is unbiased estimator over a less precise estimator, a biased estimator over a more precise estimator, an estimator which is both precise and unbiased. There are two types of estimator. First is a point estimator. A point estimator is a formula that gives a single value in estimating a parameter. Example, x bar is a point estimator of mu. S is a point estimator of sigma. P hat is a point estimator of T. Second is an interval estimator. It is a formula that gives a range of values for estimating a parameter. For example, x bar plus minus D is an interval estimator of mu where D is a specified half width of the interval. X bar is an unbiased point estimator of mu where x bar is equal to the summation of xi from 1 going to in divided by n and in is the sample size example a simple random sample of midterm exam scores of 16 stat 1 students last term were obtained to, to estimate the mean exam score of all stat 1 students last term these are the data an estimate of the mean midterm score is x bar is equal to the summation of x i from 1 going to 16. 16 because there are 16 squares divided by 16. That is the number of kisses. It is equal to 1100 divided by 16. So the point estimate or the mean is equal to 68.75. Sample variance or s squared is an unbiased point estimator of population variance or sigma squared 
where standard division is equal to the square root of the summation of x minus x bar quantity squared divided by n minus 1. This is equal to the square root of the summation of x squared minus n times x bar squared divided by n minus 1. So using the sample data set earlier, an estimate of the variability of the midterm exam score is 10.55. XRSWR is a method of selection of n units out of n units one by one such that at its stage of selection, its unit has an equal chance of being selected, 1 over n. Procedure of selection of a random sample. In the case of SRSWR, all the random numbers are accepted even if repeated more than once. Let us take a look on the point estimation using SRSWOR. Sample variance is an unbiased point estimator of the summation of x minus mu quantity squared over n minus 1. So n minus 1 divided by n times the sample variance is the unbiased estimator of the population variance. If the selected units are not being replaced back in the population, before the second row, it is called SRSWR, Simple Random Sampling Without Replace. And if the selected units are being replaced back in the population before the second row, it is called SRSWR, Simple Random Sampling with Replace. In the case of SRSWR, all the random numbers are accepted even if repeated more than once. In the case of SRSWOR, if any random number is repeated, then it is ignored and more numbers are drawn. That is the explanation of what SRSWOR and SRSWR. An estimation using SRS, simple random sampling. P hat, that is the population proportion, is an unbiased point estimator of the standard population proportion where p hat is equal to a over n and a is the number of its units possessing the characteristics of interest out of the sample of size n example a simple random sample of midterm exam scores of 16 stat 1 student last term were obtained to estimate the mean exam score of all stat 1 student last term the data is presented here while the with an estimate of the mean midterm score is 68.75. Using the sample data given earlier, we determine an estimate of the proportion of students who pass the midterm exam with 60 as passing score. That's estimate is given by p hat is equal to a over n. That is equal to 13 over 16 equals to 0 0.21. We share the precision of x bar as a point estimator of mu. We compute the standard division of the means standard error of the sample. We compute the standard error of the sample mean denoted by sigma of the x bar. The smaller the magnitude of the x bar, the more precise is the sigma of the x bar as an estimator of mu. Population standard division of the mean is equal to the standard division over the square root of n if the sampling is SRSWR. But if the sampling is SRSWOR, we have this equation. Sigma of the mean is equal to the sigma times the square root of 1 minus n multiplied to n minus 1 divided by n minus 1. If the population standard division is unknown, then we have here the sigma of x bar is estimated by the sigma hat of x bar is equal to s over the square root of n. That is if the sampling is SRSWR. But if the sampling is SRSWOR, then we have this equation. Sigma hat of x bar is equal to s times the square root of 1 minus n times n minus n over n. x bar, an unbiased point is a matter of mu where x bar is equal to the summation of w times x bar. And w here 
is the stratum weight computed as W is equal to N over N, or X bar is the sample mean obtained from its stratum, while L is the number of strata and N is the number of elements in the end stratum. Sample. University students were stratified according to their affiliation and fraternity. A researcher wishes to estimate the grade point of the rates of all the students regardless of their affiliation. So we have here the member and non-member of the fraternity membership, W, then the X bar. To use the equation, X bar is equal to the summation of W times X bar. It is equal to 0.41 times 2.76 plus 0.59 times 2.54 is equal to 2.63. Sampling from an infinite population. If x1, x2, x3 until we are done with all the x's is a random sample where mu is equal to the expected value of x and the variance is equal to the variance x then an advised estimator of mu is x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 until all the x's is being added divided by n and its precision is measured by the variance of the mean is equal to the variance of the population over n an unbiased estimator of Sigma squared is S squared equals summation of X minus X bar quantity squared over N minus 1. Thank you and God bless.